So, all that said, <laughs> sad start to the unit, but, so we already did open it up to get the high chair out a few minutes ago, but it's a big unit, a lot of stuff, and when I was bidding, you know, I saw like that milk jug right there and some of the stuff, so, you know, I'm like, okay, there's going to be some vintage stuff, and then when you get back here, there's just a lot of, sorry, there's cobwebs, I'm trying to knock down so I'm not walking through them. Alright, we just, there was three mattresses sitting here, we just moved to kind of reveal all this, and we've got a roll top desk here, but is it a desk? Because it actually, it's a record player, there's the record player, there's the slots to put the records, I know it's kind of dark back here. Um, I think something up I think these might lift up or something once yeah. these boxes are off of here. But um Maybe he, oh yeah, maybe he, he yeah. might have made that, yeah. And then there's a speaker here and then this needs to be reattached. So yeah, those don't open or slide or anything. And then look right beside here. Kinda looks like a like a Hoosier cabinet kinda. There's all the knobs are missing. I don't know if they took them off, but I can see it's got the metal enamel top on it. We'll see here in a minute when we get this stuff off here. But as you can see, there's still a lot, a lot of boxes. Just lots of this Christmas stuff. Bam, 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 bam. And then look at all these boxes back here. Look, Fitzson Floyd ornament sets. Some kind of plates here. Do I name? I think that's the, um, I think you hit rugs with it. Oh! Yeah, I could be wrong, but I'm yeah. pretty sure you hang the rug and you're like, bam, 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 and, and you knock all the, the dust and dirt out of it, yeah. Oh, that's okay, this is, um, gnomes. Four season gnomes, Fairmont. So some kind of gnome plate. Okay, yeah, there's a gnome one. I've never seen these before. First skater, it's a little gnome ice skating. I've seen a lot of plates, I've never seen these gnome ones though. Well, Ann just found a CB radio here. Oh, you got the, you got the um, mic and everything. She's over here saying breaker, breaker. She's trying to get, um, my Smokey son, and nice. trying to play Smokey and the Bandit over here. Trying to see if my son's out on the road where he's supposed to be. Driving one of the trucks. My other son. Let's see. I wonder if they took all the hardware off this and put it somewhere. That one's like... There's a lock on it maybe? Let's see. Oh. It's just stuck. We got a Vince Dooley Silver Anniversary pin. Okay. Main plate. Here's a key for something. Looks like a house key or something though. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, matchbooks. Oh look, the Playboy Club. Oh, there you go. Victoria Station. I'm trying to find where these people are from. Well, it has all these different cities on it. I still don't know where the the think, parents moved from. You don't, I you, think she said Tennessee, but I don't think she said okay. what part of Tennessee. I've seen a couple of Tennessee things. And thanks the lady said Tennessee. Oh, here's the knobs right here. Oh, there you go. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if that's all of them because one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe there's some somewhere else. But yeah, we're it's a little bit short there if it's just these. At least we got some of them there. Let me look in this one here. Oh, ooh, ooh, this has the um the bin. This has the flower bin. Okay. And you got look at that. Whoa. Things are gonna fall out fall out. This is what does that say right there? I can't quite read it. Is it McCoy? I don't have to get it out in the sun. Other than that, there's some little frost things on it, but some kind of nice piece of glazed pottery here. But we got the flower bin. Um, let's look down here and see what we got going on. That 
drawer is empty. This drawer is empty. And the only thing in here is ooh, some Windex. We can use that. All right, this one said on the one of these pieces of tape that said from the Curio Hutch. What do we have? Angels? They were angel collectors. This one is a Heartwood Creek by Jim Shore, though. That's a nice one. Um, let's see what else. It's another angel. This one actually, that one looks pretty nice. It's not your cheap little dollar store angel. Here's some wooden books. Heidi, Huck Finn. Ooh, look at this right here. Here's another little, little snuff can. Bruton's Scotch. Little snuff can in. Snuff can in. Jim Shore Angel. Very similar to the one that I bought a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Little, that's like an Easter bunny thing. A lot of Easter stuff. So, a lot of, some of it not necessarily Easter, but bunny, but I mean. There's a lady, what is this? Let's see. She's got some eyelashes. This is a Napco 1960. Huh. Lady, she's got an ear. She has one ear. Oh, the other ear you can't see is but see she only has one earring, but her other ear is covered up. That's pretty cool. Oh man, there's a moldy little baby here. Look at that. So there's some. There's gonna be some cool stuff in here. There's a lot more stuff wrapped up. Oh yeah, this it's gonna be a fun one to to go through all these boxes for sure. Oh yeah, look at this. And just got a little wooden Pepsi crate. That's really cool. Really nice there. Excellent condition. I don't know if that's an original or some kind of reproduction, but either way it's really nice. Something in a something in a medicine bottle. Let's look and see. It's a little they're tiny little teacups. In the bottom of that. Oh, it's Santa, but he's like broken off of something. The base, he's on some kind of base and that's gone. All right, we have this uncovered now, so you can see up here, and obviously some kind of door here. And look at that, that's where all of the, the knobs and everything. The New Englander by Guild, stereophonic, high fidelity. So that's pretty cool there on the piece that looks like a roll top desk, but haven't seen one quite like this, that's for sure. And we got trimmer line. So all kinds of stuff in here. Elizabeth. Um, license plate. We got some bolt cutters, oil filter. So all kinds of stuff down in there. There's a level. So tools and accessories and all that kind of stuff. Hose clamps or spray paint. Here's a saw. Looks like more saws down in the bottom. That's a good box. That's the first of any kind of tools we've seen that wasn't right here in the front. This was back there toward the back. As you see, we're kind of getting pretty full. We don't have a whole lot of room right here left for furniture. We're probably going to come up just a little bit short. Not much, but a little bit short on getting everything on this one load. This is a pretty cool find here. Look at this old wooden hammer mallet. And this thing's huge. Here's my hand near the top of it there. This thing's pretty cool there. And then Ann just set these up here. I don't know what's in these two tins right here. A Charlie Brown one and a Tonka. If there's anything to do with this stuff or not. Nope. It's just like old newspapers and magazines. That might be what's in this one too. is oh books readers digest books okay all right we're <laughs> getting toward the back we still got a few, some loose stuff up here a couple pieces of furniture we've cleared a lot out more boxes more boxed christmas stuff a lot of like single item christmas things there's another cookie jar this thing there's a gingerbread house up there what is this let's see 
it's an Ann Gaddis baby bear. All right, so more of that. Look, there's a big trunk there. We're going to pull that out in just a second and open it before we go. Because we're not going to get all this on. We're going to come up a little bit short and have to come back. But over here in this corner, I just noticed there's some toolboxes back here. Looks like maybe a big toolbox or something. I don't know. We'll have to move some stuff to see. I know it's kind of dark back here in this corner. Because this is a 10 by 30 and we're all the way back here. Here's a whole bag of Olympic pins. And it looks like a, I see a swatch logo. Do we have a swatch watch in here? Oh, we got a couple of, that one's flipped around, but it's in a 1996 Atlanta Olympic swatch. That's pretty cool. And then a bunch of pins. But more, I think there's gonna be a lot of CB stuff once we're able to go through all this. So here's another Radio Shack CB radio. And then right here, um, solder station, temperature controlled solder station. I don't know exactly. Um, and look, there's a United Bearcat a CB equipment, radio equipment. But let's move this stuff and I want to look, I want to see the tools back here. Look, Fitz and Floyd, is that a cookie jar? Rooster, it's either a cookie oh. jar or just a big, yeah. big um, rooster. There's a bunch of boxes too back here that say third room on them. We haven't opened any of them. They're all they're all heavy. Whatever's in the third room seems like they're all heavy. All right, so here we go. Rolling toolbox here. What is this on top of it? Master ground block. Okay. Is there tools? Um, looks like that there are going to be various tools. There's um socket wrenches. We already found oh, several toolboxes, like wire cutters. See, yeah, this thing, it's full of stuff. Oh, look at that right there, all those bits, sockets. So all these are, these are all full. Saws, hammers. If you look in there, more saws. Various items. In there. So that's got stuff in it. We got this, this is more like a big, um, kind of shelf cabinet here but let's move this stuff off of it and we'll see we got a bird pitcher we got a santa cookie jar which i already pointed out but there it is we have the bunny couple which there's been a lot of easter stuff or at least just bunny stuff most of that is easter what is this some older computer equipment there all right, here's a tray from a toolbox. And here's another little toolbox. And yep, it's got all kinds of tools in it. These are all loaded down with tools. There's another one behind it. Yep, more tools, sockets. There's a lot, a lot of, so many boxes in here. So many of them that we literally haven't even touched. I mean, they're like, they're taped up and we didn't even attempt to take, you know, to look inside of them. Oh, look at these hats here. These are like the old, kind of the old man snapback hats. But, you know, obviously a lot of these are in style now. These are just blank ones. Okay. Well, so you, somebody could get these and have stuff printed on them. It's the old snapback kind of trucker style hats and what do we have here this is like yep, jumper cables surge protector what is this oh i think is it oh is this like a diving flag i think maybe maybe not Another box here looks like maybe paperwork and stuff, but I'm not really sure. Oh, there's cobwebs everywhere. They're hanging on, hanging right in front of my face, off of my hat now. All right, this is. Let's see, 
Um, there's boxes and stuff on this thing. It's a big rolling shelf. It probably originally once that had some cabinet doors, but I don't think it does now. All right, and what do you think is going to be in this big old rusty trunk? It says Joe McCall, Memphis, Texas. Memphis, Texas. <laughs> That's what it says. Cowboy hats. All right, I'll full of cowboy there. hats. There All right, let's see if it's full of cowboy hats. It's pretty light, so it might be cowboy hats. Or it might be nothing. It's not. Okay, there's there's two saws and a machete. Mm. Two saws and Texas a machete. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Well, just yeah, Texas okay. Saw Massacre. Ain't a machete. Okay. No chain, yeah. I don't think All right. And I do want to check. I'm going to roll this big cabinet out now. And we're almost, we're going to throw just a couple more boxes on. We're gonna be done for right now. Obviously, we're gonna have to come back. So this thing, what's on here? Oh, we got more of these hats. They're like they're brand new. These are the these are the ones that have the little rope across it. Like I said those those two are in style right now. Somebody could have them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that makes sense. They were using it on the embroidery machine. I wasn't even thinking about that. I wonder if this is something for the embroidery machine, whatever these are. Looks like it could be something. Maybe this is stuff they were using with that. There's a big craftsman case. Oh, we got a craftsman drill. It's an older one, but there's the charger and the battery. And then scroll saw. That's in there. And then the last box on here. Um, looks like breakable stuff. Yep. Look at that. Little green glass. There might be some good glass done in this box here. But there's still more stuff for us to um, that we haven't touched yet as far as even loaded. A lot of boxes that majority of them we never even cut the tape off of or even looked in. Look at this floor lamp right here, cast iron. That's pretty cool. So this unit's definitely going to be a good one. Tons and tons of good stuff, a lot of vintage stuff. I mean, there's bad stuff. There's boxes full of old books and paperwork, but there's so much stuff. And who knows what treasure, treasures we will find, but we'll definitely get to finish this. And there'll be a lot of digging back at the store, digging through these boxes. But if you like this video, give us that thumbs up, hit that like button, leave a comment. Comments definitely help, good, bad, whatever. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and all the other units that we buy and anything to do with the resale business. Y'all have a good one. Third room is the heaviest room. Yeah, I don't, there's all the boxes are heavy. Out here, I'll look here and just say, let me move these. Well, I'm kind of interested. It's kind of heavy, but you know, I kind of don't care too. I'm just wanting to get in the truck and turn the AC on. <laughs> Let's see. We'll look at it because it doesn't say nothing about what it is. Oh, it just says third room. It just says third room on them, and they're all and they're heavy. Then like three big ones that said third room on it. All heavy, and that's all they say. They're all taped up real tight. Um, no. like magazines, cards, old newspaper clippings, an old letter, 1958. Cards and stuff. Third room and then, uh, looks like yeah, it looks like where they put all the paper in. Yeah. Mm-hmm.
It might have been, because it's like a lot of paperwork type and stuff. And this room, and now we got the third room. So. That was a room they didn't know what to do with, so they just yeah. stored junk in there. All right, that unit was a monster. It took us two loads to get it back here. It's all here. We've all got it unloaded. We've been going through boxes. Um, didn't have my camera with me one day, and then I was going to start filming some earlier, and I noticed the battery was dead, so it's been charging. So I'm going to show a few things that we've gotten out, and then I'm going to go back to the back, and we'll um, go through some boxes. Here's a few of the things that we've already gotten out of the boxes and put and put out here. Um, big vice clamp. We got these Crocs here. Let's see. We had some cast iron that came out of there. A couple cameras. And then look at this camera. It's a Bell Howell Autolog 308 with the spotlight there. Old softball bat. Wooden softball bat there. Some tins. These little dog figures. People always like these mini figures here. This is cool here. It's an old Fisher Price Ferris wheel and it works and it plays music there's another croc up there that thing this is cool this came out of, it's almost looks like it's brand new a soldering station um we keep moving here look there's snuggle bear you know snuggle from the um the fabric softener it's a puppet suitcase some of the stuff you might have already seen we were going through i don't remember i know this we did show um all these olympic pins look at this, this is a pretty cool set of books right here on the vintage books this is really nice on this crystal very nice this set of books is pretty cool here it's like fairy tales from um holland japan france you got these little dish sets here this right here is mccoy pottery look at the vintage sci-fi books we got a few star wars and then we got star trek and some other just kind of vintage sci-fi type stuff um found all these disney collectible glasses already shown that of course the hammer we showed that trying to find some stuff we didn't show we found a few kids records here elvis records here's some of the vintage tools we got milk glass but the best thing we got so far is so far we pulled out quite a few pieces and i'm pretty sure there's more ham radio stuff this is an old amplifier vintage ham radio amplifier look this thing up and they're selling for over 500 dollars if you go to ebay completed listings five to seven hundred dollars on this piece right here so that's awesome right there and then there's all this little stuff this thing right here is like a hundred and fifty dollars almost everything i was looking at was over a hundred that was like a hundred and fifty dollars let's see this wasn't a whole lot that was over a hundred dollars and some of this stuff but i don't remember that exactly this was over a hundred dollars and this thing here this is a submersible marine um, receiver here a walkie-talkie transceiver this thing right here was selling for about 200 bucks on ebay but this is right here this is for morse code a lambic key paddle about 50 bucks or so and lots of these pieces are just you know you know 50 100 150 dollars on a lot of this stuff but all kinds of stuff and hopefully there's going to be some more of that but we're gonna we're back here going through some boxes i'm gonna walk back here now Ann's back there i just came up here to get the camera walk through it here we're right outside the door back here there's Ann. she's going through old letters and stuff finding a lot of cool old letters and postcards and all that everything here came out of this unit so far we got the old raggedy ann raggedy andy and what else i'm going to show you if you oh, look at this right here this is cool old vintage lighter it's a great smoky mountains got gatlinburg slash cherokee on it it's an omega lighter that's pretty nice right there it looks like it's brand new they probably it was a souvenir probably never used it some nice pins look at this old tobacco tin right here that's pretty nice what else do we got all kinds of cool little odd stuff here old books transistor radio there's a mr potato head and different stuff that we've been finding look at this right here bat signal it's like a little flashlight put the batteries in it and turn it on and then it would shoot the bat signal up on the wall or ceiling lots of dig stuff this is all dig stuff our area that's like five dollar and under area up front but we're still digging i just brought this box out here we're going to go through it and over here going through this i think this is like Paper. oh did find some more gold too while we we're you know unloading we did find a few pieces of gold let me open this up 
this right here it was in some paperwork lots of cool like vintage costume and everything and right that ring right there is 10 karat pretty cool looking ring as you see lots of cool oh and right here kennedy half dollar susan b anthony clayton gore button there look at this right here it's actually a necklace but it has a pin a locket pin on it so and lots of um earrings of all different sorts there might be some of these are probably gold down in here some of these earrings down in here but i haven't really went through this and checked all this yet there's another kennedy half dollar so as you see just lots and lots of stuff clip-ons that pin right there butterfly necklace so more goodies that's for sure and we still got a lot more to go box here see christopher a banks it's like a um you know like a shirt box a gift box mirage hair nets okay it's a lot of cool vintage i mean that's just the package but it's just cool to look at some of that stuff and then we get in here and it's like we got all kinds of little goodies here we got woodstock a uh, woodstock valentine's whitman's that's cool there we got an indian doll oh brand new altoids wow <laughs> and brand new children's sore throat lozenges oh look at this right here a little box to open up here little trinket box got some baby shoes we got a mcdonald's toy what is this tigger a little clip on tigger oh look at here we got an old paul mall Oh, candy cigarettes. Is there anything in here? It feels empty. It is empty, but the packaging is definitely pretty cool here. Get that back in there, right? Let's see what else we got. More, more Altoids. Probably, probably no good. Probably been here so long that it'd be kind of nasty. But okay, what is this? It's it says design on it on this little ribbon here. It is a design watch. I think it's something cheap. Made in China. Yeah, just a probably like Walmart or that kind of thing at some point. Oh, we got another lighter. It says Ray on it. It's a Ronson lighter, though. That's that's a nice lighter. More Altoids. They're keeping all these Altoids and never opened them. Kind of crazy. We got Mardi Gras beads. Little Santa. All kinds of little odds and ends in here. Look at this thing, little kind of wooden hand carved necklace symbol. And then what do we have here? Just a little empty little box. What's in here? We got marbles. Look at the marbles. A machoki. Uh, Abra. What is this? Pokemon? It kind of looks Pokemon like, but I don't know. And that doesn't have nothing on it. So I don't know what those exactly are. The, at least, you know, the pictures on them. I know they're marbles. Lady and the Tramp, another Tigger, just all kinds of little odds and ends, I don't know what, just a little cloth or something, throat lozenges, that's empty, okay, so lots of interesting stuff, I don't know about much that's very valuable, but interesting anyways, There's some gloves that was in that box. We go down below that we got clothes here clothes clothes let's move the clothes out of the way i'll look at those here in a minute and see what's underneath the clothes we got some old pictures now the pictures we are boxing up to get back to the tenant try to maybe make their life a little bit easier so books is there anything else down in here what do we have one of those fuzzy hats all right we got turtle wax they kind of look like they were maybe new um it looks pretty much new not really anything missing from there and then underneath that what do we have books books just kind of regular old books nothing 
nothing real interesting okay so that's pretty much it for that box all right here's another box here lots of glass of all different sorts we've been getting good and bad let's see what we have in here this might be just more no i was about to say kind of just standard kitchen stuff but i can see some little tins down in here let's see nothing special there we'll spice tin let's see whoa tilso japan it's like a salt and pepper shaker so oh these are pretty cool like little lanterns those are interesting there and then we got a little basic piece of pottery here plastic cup with a picture but we got some green glasses a whole stack of these right here This is broke, sounds like broken glass in it, but uh, no, it's a, uh, oh yeah it is. Okay, that chip right there, they take that little chip in. That's, uh, another on the green glass, see if we can find something different down in here. Oh, we got a little picture. Dolphin Fine China. All right. Here's a, here's a T10. And I think this one is an older one. It's not just made though. This is an old, yeah, you can tell by the, by the metal here. This is a pretty old. Individual Banquet Orange Pakoe T McCormick and Company. So that's a vintage tin there here's another tin spice this one is not old okay is this okay it's a salt and pepper set that looks like tins there what else we have lots of little stuff in these boxes a little 25 cent little ceramic vase there the glass pitcher Something wrapped up inside it. We got more. Oh, oh, that's something that's just broken all to pieces. It was already broken when they put it in there because it was wrapped up like that. All right, what's in here? Something. Oh, here's an old tin also. Whoa, this is cool. Ooh, look at this. It's a Whitman's. Whitman's Salma Gundy. All right, what's inside of here? We've got we got an elementary school report card. I don't know how old that is. I don't see a date, but it's an older one there. Oh, and a personal picture there. Get that back home. So that's a couple old tins. Is there anything else? Yep, there is still something down in here. Let's see. Some kind of okay. It's a little cookie cookie jar there full scrap cookie jar that's nice other than that i think we're done 